if we don't have enough problems in this country, the specter of racist trees now haunts America like a demon. Ever since local officials in Palm Springs, California, out there in the desert, in the heat, identified a group of tamarisk trees at a local golf course as being racist, we've been seeing those kinds of trees everywhere. Is it a coincidence that a pine tree resembles a Klansman hood? What does the weeping willow weep for, if not the end of Jim Crow? Are other trees complicit in all of this? Larry Elder is a radio show host from the state of California. He's a lifelong resident. He's been watching carefully. Larry, what, what's going on out there in Palm Springs, if you could sum it up for us? Uh, I, I think it's climate change. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to say, Tucker. This is California. This is where the governor just signed a measure to hike up the minimum wage to $15 an hour after, say, after saying and admitting that uh, minimum wage measures don't make, quote, much economic sense, close quote. So go figure. It's all about making black people feel better about the past, about Jim Crow, about slavery, as if that's the issue facing black America. A news bulletin for 30 or 40 years, Tucker, blacks score higher on self-esteem tests than do whites and Asians. Uh, the suicide rate for whites is higher than the suicide rate for blacks. The issue is not whether blacks feel good or bad about themselves. The issue is what do we do about that part of black America that is broken, that is not doing well. Right. And the number one problem facing black America has nothing to do with white racism or racist trees. It has to do with the fact that 73 percent of black kids are raised without fathers. And I didn't say it. Obama said a kid raised without a dad is five times more likely to be poor, nine times more likely to drop out of school, and 20 times more likely to end up in jail. So Let's talk about what's causing so many women to marry the government and so many men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. Yeah. That ought to be the conversation, but it isn't. It, it, it never is. In fact, you're scolded for bringing it up, but it's enormously sad. I just find it so interesting, in, uh, growing up in California around liberals, there was really no greater sin than cutting down a tree. I mean, cutting down a tree was immoral. They were called tree huggers, literally. Well, these are... These are racist trees, though, of course. Uh, and, 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 Tucker, in California, you have a governor that does not support vouchers, even though the majority of urban parents, black and brown, want vouchers. The Democratic Party is opposed to vouchers, yet 95% yeah. of black people pull the lever for the party that, in my opinion, has put an obstacle uh, in front of their kids getting the, an education, which, of course, is the route to the middle class. So go figure. See, I just, look, here's what I want is not everyone to agree with me, but at least to have a conversation about things that actually matter rather than frivolous things. And one of the reasons we've highlighted the racist tree story is because it is so self-evidently stupid that maybe it'll awaken people to the frivolous nature of the conversation. I mean, why aren't we having conversations about test scores and marriage and drug use, not just in the black community, but in every community in America? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I reminded Don Lemon when I was last on CNN, maybe that's why I was last on, yeah. that in 1997, Time magazine and CNN did a poll of black teens and white teens and asked them both whether or not racism was a major problem in America. And not too surprisingly, both white teens and black teens said yes. But then yeah. they asked black teens, uh, is racism a big problem, a minor problem, or no problem in your own daily lives? And almost 90 percent of black teens said racism was no problem or a minor problem in my own daily life. In fact, more black teens and white teens said failure to take advantage of available opportunities was a bigger problem than racism. So what are we talking about? Racist trees? Take a wand and wave it over America and remove every smidgen of racism from the hearts of white America. We're still going to have the problem of young people having yep. children they can't take care of, of men abandoning their responsibility, of government schools that don't work, of bad economic policies like minimum wage that destroy jobs, of porous borders where uh, you have Ill illegal workers with yep. unskilled, uh, challenging workers in the inner city, and on and on and on. Those and are the on, problems on, facing on. America. Let's have a conversation. About no, you're right. You're absolutely right. No one says it better than you do. Larry, thank you. Great My to pleasure. see you. Merry Christmas.